Anime Impact, the final anime impact of season two. And it may not even be the final anime impact, because I got some ideas with that to do when during the off season as I well. I do as well. And... So we this final anime impact of season two episodes officially what's going on. Um and so I will start this time. P volunteered me to start, so I'm gonna start. Um <laughs> It also, I know the last one I had with Rob and Tracy and P last time I had was from Windbreaker. This one, again, is from Windbreaker, specifically from episode 12, which I thought was going to be the season finale, but was not. We got 13 episodes for season finale of Windbreaker. I have not, so, not watched that yet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and it has to do with, obviously, our main character, Sakura, and then the the grade captain from the second years um, that we met in episode 12. And I can't remember his name for the life of me. But um, Sakura, we know, is when we introduced Sakura, he had one goal. And it was to come here, to come to Bof- Bofuin, Bof- Bo- wow, Bof- Bofuin, Bofuin, I, I'm, bleh. I just say Bofuin. Yeah. But- um, trying to trying to be somewhat buffooting, bufu- uh, whatever. I'm I'm butchering like crazy. Uh, but come to the school and be number one, right? Be top dog, and fight his way to the top, solo dolo to prove that he could do this alone. That by himself he is strong enough and strong willed enough to do what he wants to do and needs to do, and doesn't care about the people that hated him coming up to this point, the people that tried to hold him back, the people who tried to put him down. He's like, I'm gonna do this solo dolo by myself. All of that got turned upside down on its head in the first two episodes. They're like, yo, this ain't the place for that. This is a place where we stand up together. This is a place where we do what's right for the people that can't stand up for themselves. This is a place where you can be welcomed and come find family. Like, this ain't a place for you to be like, stand out and I'm going to do this by myself. Um, and it it completely took him for a loop. Like, he's like, what is this? Like, I know nothing about this. My hair alone has caused me so many issues. Like, what what is this place? And so with that, with that happening, his whole purpose of what he's doing and why he's doing it, he doesn't have it. He doesn't know what to do anymore. He's like, what, what do I want to do? Um, and so he ends up being nominated to be the grade captain for his for the first years and he fights it he doesn't want to do it he's like i don't know and he's 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 a very he's a very shy and timid person even though he's very rough he and is. rigid on the outside but internally he's very shy doesn't want to do with people that way not good relationships but rightfully so because he hasn't had many friendships or even family members that loved on him based on what we know about his past we haven't seen much but based on the way he's talked and the things that we've seen he doesn't have he doesn't have he hasn't experienced love in the way that he needs to or friendship the way that he should have in his past and so he's rightfully so very shaky and wary of people and so we see that they go on this on this uh basically go on not necessarily a mission but go take rounds basically around the city they have to go find this cat and so he after being nominated, he's like, "Look, I'm gonna do something to sell it to like stand out on uh, my first time of being of being great captain." So chasing this cat, whatever. Um, and long story short, the other second year great captain catches him, and so he notices as he's walking around, he's watching the second year great captain trying like, "What, what, what do I need to do as a great captain? How do I need to stand out? How do I hold myself? How do I act as a great captain?" But he sees the second year guy basically delegating everything to everybody. And he's like, what is he doing? And he has the head honcho guy, and I'm bad with the names remembering, but the head guy over the whole school, the number one guy, is more of a take action himself kind of guy than a delegate to everybody else kind of guy. So it's like, this is different than what I've seen. So what like what what are you doing? Why are you doing this? How are you doing things? And so he just straight up asked him, like, what what is your goal? Like, what do you want to do? And he's like, I don't have anything I want to do. And and our boy um soccer was like, well, then what's the point? You have no, there's no reason for you to be great captain. And the dude gets hot. He stands up and gets hot and wants to, we, we get to learn about him that he's a very hot headed person back in his past. And so he stands up like he's ready to box and he has to like find his, he has his coping mechanisms that he does to calm himself down. He's basically like, look, I don't have a goal that I want to do, but those two over there and everybody else in my class has, has hopes for me, has, 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 expectations of me and are following me for whatever reason it is. And I'm doing this for them. I can't let them down. Um, and that hit for me. And I know I don't feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm doing this justice at all. 
come but on. that but that hit for me as a as a father and as a husband because there are times bro where i'm just like i don't know what i'm doing for me my whole life has been like laid out and orchestrated my career wise right i had high, high school sports like dictated my life and set my schedule i got to college football dictated my life and my schedule i got out of college the league dictated my life and my schedule year round i've missed weddings i've missed important moments because of football because it's dictated joe has to be here at this time for this long on this day and joe gets these days off and that's it, right? Like, obviously, people have jobs and works, work and stuff like that that do dictate the schedule. But, like, literally, it dictates my entire life, right? And so, especially as of late, like, I feel like my purpose and what I'm supposed to be doing, being a free agent, is, like, kind of waning. I know my identity and my purpose is not in football. So, that's not what I'm saying. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a god for man, a Christian, Christian brother. And I understand where my purpose and where my purpose comes from. And it's in, in my uh, Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I get that 100%. But football has dictated my life. And so with not having that and not having this goal and purpose to work towards outside of my faith, it's thrown me for a loop. But regardless of all that, I still have a wife. I have a pregnant wife at that. And I have three daughters right now that are depending on me to stand up and do and stand on business and handle the things they need to handle. My responsibilities are on the field right now. Cool. Well, what can I do at home to help my kids grow? What can I do at home to help my wife who's doing this? I don't know what to do. There are things I'm not used to being in a house this long all the time, but there are things that I now have to do and step up there. I, I don't know everything. So I got to lean on my wife a lot of times. And sometimes it drives her crazy because she's like, why don't you know how to do this? I'm like, I, I don't, but you tell me I'll figure it out. And there are times where I slack and I don't, but bro, like hearing him say, like, I don't know what I'm doing or why I'm doing this, but they expect this of me. They believe in me. They have hopes for me. They have expectations for me and they trust me. They put their whole trust in me to be the leader of this, this group. My wife and kids have put their trust in me, maybe not necessarily my kids because they just kind of get born into it. But my wife has picked me to lead our family and to hold things down. I have to live up to that. I have no choice but to. I, I don't. Like, that's just it. And I would hate. And there have been times that I have failed miserably because I am not perfect as much as I would love to be. There are times that I have failed miserably, but I have to continue to push forward and stand up and do what I know is right and do the best that I can to hold it down for my family. Um, and that just hearing him say that, bro, like. The reason he does what he does is because they trusted him, believe him, and have put them in put him in his place outside of him. Even he didn't want to be here. This wasn't the the role that he picked for himself, but these people put him in that role and trusted him to handle it. So he's got to step up and do what he has to do. He's got to stand on business and take care of business, man. And so that that hit for me, um, hard, real hard. So that's my last and final anime impact, y'all. That was good. Man. I don't know what you I, you keep saying like I don't know if it's gonna hit. Like you got first of all, you got to set up the story, and so I feel like you set up the story really well to say, "Hey, yo, this is what's going on. This is how I relate, bro." That that is so relatable to where, bro. I have been in life for like two years now. Like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't know if what I'm doing is right. I don't know if it's wrong. I don't know if I should be doing this. But there are people that are counting on me, that are, are banking on me getting it right. Whether I know I'm supposed to be right or wrong, people are banking on me getting it right. So I have no other option but to get it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That that almost bring me to tears. Like that's that's really good. Okay. That's really good, Joe. What you what you got for us, P? Dang, that's good, man. Let that's me good. let me get let me get the piano going. Let me get the organ no, going in the background. No you got no piano going this time. I'm gonna be really, really, really. I had to write it down, so I'm gonna be really, um, really brief. Um, my anime impact comes from Demon Slayer. Uh, yes, you guys, Demon Slayer, one of my favorite new gen anime. Um, topic, <sighs> success takes time. Um, okay. Oh, I might need to hear this. Cause you, you know me, your boy trying to go, 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 is, go, go. This go. is why, <laughs> this is why I brought like this. Honestly, this is why I brought it up because I, I had, honestly, I had you in mind. Um, so Giyu recommends, um, 
Tanjiro to pretty much train um, under the former water Hashira, which was Giyu's um, former trainer. Um, during the two years that he is there, um, the former water Hashira pretty much puts um, Tanjiro through a year's worth of strength training, nothing else but strength training. Tanjiro gets there, his year of strength training is complete. And after that, um, the former water Hashira says, okay, I need you to cut a boulder. Like, I don't know how you're going to do it, but like I've given you a year's worth of strength training. I need you to cut this boulder. It takes Tanjiro literally another year after strength training to cut this boulder. Um, and so I, 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 I was thinking that sometimes you feel like you're not going anywhere, that you're not doing anything. Um, and sometimes that you feel like your efforts are all for naught. Um, <laughs> but you, you honestly have to remember that it is not all for nothing. You have been putting in the work, no matter whether it's been the year of strength training and the year of trying to cut your boulder or whatever you have in your life, it is not all for naught. The Bible says that you reap what organ. you sow. No, it's not an organ thing. But the Bible says that you reap what you sow. So for Tanjiro, who has been legit putting in the, the work, who has been putting in the hours, who has been putting in, like, I got a year's worth of strength training. I got six months to try to cut the boulder, and it still ain't working. And even then, God will still place people in your life to make it a little bit easier with Tanjiro, like we had, he had people that come that came back who were who were the water Hashira's former um, students to come back to help him out. God will always put things in place to help you cut your boulder. But even then, you reap you know you reap what you sow. So if you reap those good things, if you reap the fact that like I've been, are, are you so good thing? I'm sorry, you so good thing. So if you've been sowing the fact that. You've been putting in the work, whether you're a content creator and you've been putting in the hours, you've been putting in the editing, you've been posting constantly, or whether um, it's just for me to where like I've been putting in the work for my life. I've been like going to counseling. Like, I've been putting in the work. You reap what you sow. So if you if you sow good things, if you sow like those those things that you've been working for, when harvest time comes, you will reap all of those benefits. Now, God did not say when harvest time is going to come, but just know that you have to put in the work and know that the work that you put in is not for nothing. It's going to be for a great benefit. Again, you reap what you sow. So you sow those good things. When harvest time comes, bruh, the harvest is going to be plentiful. On the on the other side, though, if you are are sowing bad things and you're not putting in the work, then what harvest will you have? But we see that with Tanjiro to where do put in the work. He knows what he has to do. He is goal oriented. He is goal driven. He has he wants to save his sister and he is willing to do whatever he can. And that's even for us. We want to make this podcast happen. So we are putting in the work. So when harvest time comes and it's time to reap the benefits of what we've sown, bro, it is going to be a high good time. That's what I have. Yeah, P was definitely thinking about me when he said all that. I know he was. Because I'm I'm 100 percent Because boy, I tell you. I tell you, this uh, uh, today, I feel like I said it before. I don't know if I said it before, but today is June 21st. Like six, four or five out of our last like six or seven YouTube shorts ain't done diddly squat. Crazy. Crazy. And the crazy part is that hurts so much about it is that I put in actually we, because some of them was Preston's. We have put in so much work into that. And I'm like, bro, this is fire. Like what's being said is fire. The editing is fire in my in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Y'all have liked stuff like this before, but for whatever reason, y'all not even seeing it. Yeah. So I'm just like, what what is what is going on? What did, did we do something? Is the is the real trash? Do y'all not like it? Does YouTube like eh, yeah, whatever? I'm just like, yo. I'm well, very like I'm very impatient. I'm very uh my wife likes yeah. to say instant gratification. Like I'm like, all right, I put the work in, where is it at? Like, give me my give me my harvest now. Like, yep, I did that. Here it is. I deposited. Now it's time for to withdraw. And I think that's the hard that's the hardest part because even like with Tondro, even though we got like maybe four episodes, 
even with those four episodes, four or five episodes, it was a two year span. Yeah, bro. I'm, Instant gratification just doesn't, even though we want it so bad. But again, been putting in the work. I'm, hey, listen, work being put in, you ain't got to question and, that. And, and not not even that, but like even now, we're still getting to like reap some of the benefits that of the work that was that was put in. Oh, for again, sure. We went from like legit a hundred subscribe a hundred subscribers to like you know plus six thousand. So like it, it's 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 slow but steady. But Tanjiro also just reminds me that it is slow but steady. Like it took him literally two years to cut a boulder. But he was consistent. He was persistent. Um, and at the end of the day, and he was goal oh, oriented. I'm gonna be persistent. <laughs> I'm gonna be persistent now. But then that's sure. but but I, but I think I that's know. why then for a fact that I know for us, like it's not gonna be like we gonna we gonna get there. Like oh, it's no, for sure. Again, oh, you we ain't got no choice but to. We got no choice. I ain't got no choice but to. I ain't and I, again, yeah. I am heavy in Jesus. I am heavy in my word. So like you reap what you sow, and like it has been nothing but good um sowing. So like I believe God that like hey yo, the reaping is going to be crazy oh, it's when it's harvest time. Oh, yeah. I cannot wait. For sure, for sure. Good stuff, P. Good stuff. Good stuff, man. That was that was a good final anime impact, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed that. I hope y'all enjoyed these anime impacts, man. I feel like that's something that is extremely important for us. I know we kind of were slow burn on trying to get them involved, and eventually we did and got consistent with it. But man, the impacts for me, man, is what is what makes anime so amazing. Yeah. Like that, like the life lessons and the identifying with characters or even just moments or even entire shows, man, whatever it is, like, like having those moments hit you and connect and like cut deep is like why I personally love anime so much. I, I love good hands. You know what I'm saying? You saw me pe- talk with you, talk with your hands. Mwah! You know what I'm saying? You saw that on a previous episode, Uh, you know, at, at Momo kind of, we did with the hot takes too, but like. The the anime impact man is literally is is what cut these for me and it's what makes anime so amazing and so relatable for everyone. Yeah. Even those that don't love anime, I promise you, you find that one, that one moment, not even a whole show, that one moment, you're like, hey yo, bro, what is this and what is this about? And yeah. where can I get more? Anime does that for you. Crazy. And then to hear other people's um, perspective, like I said, even with you and Windbreaker, like I, I did not get that until you said something, and I was yeah. like, "That's what I'm still." I was shaking my head, like you, you damn Skippy, bro. When I tell you, I like watched that, like that conversation. I watched it like three times back yeah. to back to back as it happened. I'm like, wait, what did he say? Hold on, run that back. Yeah. Let me make sure I didn't miss done. Because what? Yeah, yeah, bro, that's yeah. that's life right now. That's life right now. So. 